So, is body cam a good game? I think yes, however, it also has some pretty bad design decisions to take away from the tactile shooter aspect and make it a bit too arcadey. So I'll start with the good stuff first. But what is absolutely great about this game is, as it is advertised, you get this beautiful Unreal Engine 5 lighting, and the way the character moves around feels really organic. See the, the way the character turns and rotates, it's really fluid. When you move and look at the ground, you can see that how they really synchronize the steps with the camera. And if you look at the, the camera artifacts and the dirt map on the the way it reflects light, it just it just looks beautiful. And the audio is pretty amazing in this game because it, it's shooting guns in this game is pretty traumatic. Okay, and before I shoot a gun, I'm going to warn you about the volume. And even the game does it. So, for example, um, if you go to the audio settings, sound guns, yes, are allowed. Guns are allowed. They actually hint at the fact how loud guns are in, in the real life. And in this game, if you fire a gun. It completely drowns out everything else. Okay, now I'll start with the Dragonov being shot indoors, so be warned it's going to be very loud, okay? <laughs> Sounds beautiful. Okay, now aim down the sights. Look how beautiful it looks, the way the, the gun moves around as you're turning. So it's, it's beautiful how organic it is, look at this. Okay. Now the problem is with the audio quality, there's some other weapons. You see, the Dragonov has a really, really good, um, really good definition in the lower frequencies, like the, the deep sounds. The problem is with the Uzi, that's a mini Uzi over here. It's, um, the sound on this gun sounds really bad because they have too much, too much volume in the high frequency. So we want, this will really um, scratch in your ears. You hear that? It's like, it almost has no deep, sharp, um, lower frequency only has the high frequencies. That's why you hear that white noise so much. And I think that might be realistic on a video recording, but for playing a game like that, it's just too damaging for her ears. I probably lowered the sound of the Uzi in this video, just in, in post-processing, so it's not too annoying in the, in the usual video. Also, I think for 9mm submachine gun, I think the camera rattles too much. It shouldn't rattle that. Okay, now let's try a different gun. Got a shotgun. Is that a Remington 870? Welcome to the range. I'm Julie. That just feels beautiful. Like the way that the way the recoil kicks kicks back, and the way it um, it shakes the camera as it hit as the gun hits hits the, the shoulder. Okay, let's try some more guns. Now, what is the problem with using guns in this game? Is you currently have almost no control over a gun. You can't you can't even choose the gun in in a match. Get a random gun assigned. And you can't mod the gun, which is really stupid because sometimes you get red dots on your guns. But in the close range combat, which is most of this game, I'd rather prefer to have iron sights. Right, look how beautiful the lighting looks on a gun like that. And the way they use like the depth of field so it gives you that, that, it tricks you into looking like it's a photo. And the other problem is you can't really see what gun you have in a match until you mouse wheel. The problem with that is if you, in the first 10 seconds you might get killed by another player who rushes to your spawn. Yeah, let's take for example this gun. This gun doesn't even have iron sights uh, flipped up. Let's try the F4. And you can't even select the fire mode. At least I didn't find any option in the settings. AKM. <clears throat> now let's try the Desert Eagle. Yeah, they should also adapt the, the firing sound for different um, room conditions, because it's a smaller room, but the echo you hear is from a much bigger room. Okay, so the weapons in this game feel great. It's exactly what what, um, what is advertised. Now, when you're playing the actual game, like in Team Deathmatch or something, <clears throat> there's one incredibly stupid design decision. Oh, 
I'm just anti game. But other than that, like, just the way the character moves, it's just beautiful. Just look at the way, if it, especially if you look at the ground. See that? The way your camera moves like that. It's almost hypnotic, like looking at the, the concrete and this beautiful light and the way the camera is synchronized to the movement, it, it's just beautiful. And the way the character um, comes around like that. So for example, if you want to go around the corner, you can really like almost lean if you if you aim like that. But yeah, they should really cut down on the on the higher frequencies on most guns and emphasize the lower frequencies because low frequency sounds they sound pleasant, more pl at least more pleasant to your ears, even if they are really loud. But high frequency sounds that that will really hurt your ears. And we got a UMP forty five. But yeah, the beauty of of the graphics is mesmerizing. See how the, the, the inside's misaligned as you're aiming like that. It's just the fluidity of it that's so beautiful. See that? And here, the character breathing. Hear that too? <laughs> well, that's a. Uh, I think a 1911. So overall, I think it's a fantastic game, but what they really should do is, is ho hopefully, I hope, I hope pretty soon in the patch, to give players options in terms of basically seeing what you got at the start of a match, allow to choose your loadout, or like in Counter-Strike, buy your guns during the match, and allow me to customize the guns the way I want, so I can use every gun I want with Ironset. And of course, remove the drones, because they have no place in this game, it's just, um, like, it's an incredibly stupid decision compared to how amazing the rest of the game is. Yeah, this is just mesmerizing, just look at this. I mean, I'm the type of player, if I see beautiful graphics in a video game, I can just spend minutes just, just observing it, and it's beautiful. I think what's amazing is that the game doesn't actually have many controls. You basically have WASD, the mouse control, that's it for the most part, and you can jog and sprint. And most of the complexity of, of the game, of the controls, come from the fluidity of the animation. So as I mentioned earlier, when you like want to quickly peek around, you can also like lean like this. Lean. Like that and go in. Why couldn't like do it quickly, like this? Like just by walking into the shot and moving the mouse a bit further. See that? That's me not leaning, that's me just um, going left right with the mouse at a higher rate. And that is, that is absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can use a longer gun with that. So you know, if you use a longer gun, it's going to get in the way with the uh, with the door frame. So if you have a shorter weapon, that's actually pretty good in close combat like that. So, would I recommend a game to get it? I th think it's great, but I also would recommend to go to the forums and tell the developers that they really should remove that stupid drone because it really takes out most of the fun of, of team deathmatch.